Hello friends, Steven Talbot here, of course, and I just wanted to do a video because I haven't done one in a few days, uh, and just let you guys know that I'm doing great. Um, I am like really kicking ass at the gym. I told you guys about my leg, my crazy leg situation, so that is fixed, um, and I was like super scared at first because they had it all wrapped up in a, I showed you guys the last video, they had it all wrapped up and stuff, and uh, I took it off and I was like, oh my god, I'm scared to put lotion on it. And I'm constantly like looking down to make sure there's no blood shooting out of my side of my leg. Um, I did go back to the gym and I started doing um, full on cardio. Like, you know, uh, I did the uh, treadmill, I did the bike, and I did like 30 minute express cardio with all the machines and so, so far so good. Um, I am going to make an appointment. I actually meant to do it today and I forgot. So I'm going to make an appointment with a, um, a vein specialist. So hopefully I can get that schedule to be removed, which I will be super happy about. Interestingly, the one that actually popped is gone, and it was the big one on the side of my leg, and so it's gone. But the, the doctor the other day said that it's probably going to come back. So unless I get on medically removed, it's probably going to come back. But for now, my leg looks much better, and I'm much less self-conscious about it, which is great. Um, what else has been going on? Um, I'm, not, I'm not at my friend Kenny's house anymore. She got, had COVID, and she came home. And everything was all good there. We got into a little a spat, actually, um, which I won't go into details about. But uh, we've been friends for a long time, and so we get into spats every once in a while. Um, I just had to put her on pause for a minute. Um, but other than that, everything is great. Um, my place, uh, I had an Airbnb guest in my place. They checked out today. They left my place really, really awesome, which I'm always grateful for. And they left me some really awful fattening food actually it's really delicious food <laughs> but i can't i don't want to eat it like what the fuck i mean it's like literally like everything you need to make four philly cheese sandwiches and like triple well i'm not a big huge cheese fan at all by any actually i don't like cheese at all uh i like white cheese if it's melted but that's about it but uh they left me some kind of like uh pre patty uh, ground sirloin triple cheese stuffed hamburgers and all this shit uh, in my refrigerator <laughs> and uh, I don't even like cheese but that shit looks good I kind of want to throw it on a grill and and, uh, and eat it <laughs> oh my god and let me tell you guys about this pizza situation last night so I was at my friend Mario's house and we were chilling outside on his patio and I had to go use the bathroom so I walked in and I smelled something that smelled so delicious. And I said, oh my God, what is that smell? He said, I'm, I'm cooking a pizza. Right as he said that, he was opening the pizza oven door and out comes this pizza. And I love pizza. <laughs> uh, out comes this pizza that's just like dripping and melting cheese with these big old greasy pepperonis that are like turned upward so the grease is kind of pooling in them. I know that sounds gross, but it, that's, it's really good. You guys know what I'm talking about. And you know, this this whole healthy wellness thing is hard enough as it is, but I definitely don't want to be tempting myself with some food. I'm not trying to say I'm going to deprive myself, but I already had my sort of cheat day on, on Saturday, and this was yesterday, which was Sunday. So I already ate a quesadilla, which was so good. But um, anyways, so he pulls out this pizza, and I'm like, on that note, I'm going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so, I went to the gym, and on the way back from the gym, I was like, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Dr. Laura, but she's this crazy, like, um, she's not crazy, but she is kind of crazy. She is a therapist who has this radio show, and people call it, I don't even know if she's on the air anymore, but I used to love listening to it because she's she gives good advice, but at the same time, some of her advice is like, really, bitch? Uh, it's very outlandish and kind of like a matter of fact. And she, you can tell she's taking these phone calls from people for so long. She's tired of answering the same damn questions. And one of the things that she always says whenever, or that she used to say whenever someone called in about weight problems, you know, if they say like, I've been trying to lose weight forever and I just can't seem to lose weight or whatever, then uh, she'll be like, well, look, I don't know why you guys have problems losing weight. Anytime you're hungry, just eat three apples and a glass of water. Drink four glasses of water if you have to. And if you're still hungry after you do that, then... You know, eat whatever the hell you want or whatever. So, I sort of had that in the back of my mind. And, um, so after the gym, I stopped at, uh, Publix. Which, Publix is so damn expensive. Oh, my God. But it is near my house. And they do have really good selections of stuff. But, um, 
I don't know, that shit's just super expensive. Anyways, I got two apple diapples. Two apple diapples. Uh, two green apples and a thing of bananas and an orange and a salad. It was a salad that the grocery store made. And it had uh, salmon and egg or boiled eggs and capers, which I had never tried before. They're super fucking salty, but they were okay. Um, uh, baby spinach, some arugula, some, some mixed greens, basically. Uh, tomatoes, cucumber, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. And some kind of vinaigrette dressing. It was the bomb. So anyway, so I come back. I eat, yeah, I eat all this stuff, right? And I'm, I'm thinking in my mind, because my mind would be playing tricks on me, you know. So I go to the refrigerator. I eat my salad, right? Then, if, you know, 30 minutes pass or whatever, I go and I get this apple. And the subconsciously, or not subconsciously, I don't know, but I'm literally, my eyes are looking, my eyes are scanning the refrigerator at Mario's house looking for this pizza because I know they didn't eat it all. And I'm like, oh my God, if I see this pizza, I'm going to want some of this pizza. So I looked real quick and I didn't see it. So I was good, right? So I ate this apple. Then I ate a banana, <laughs> right? Because at that point, my friend Mario had fallen asleep and he had gotten up and my friend Ron was there and Ron, Mario said he was hungry. And Ron said, well, that pizza's left in the fridge. So I knew it was in the refrigerator. So then I got up to get me some water and I saw the pizza and I saw it. It was cold, but that doesn't matter. And I wanted the pizza. <laughs> So I didn't eat it. I did not eat it. I ate another fucking banana and I was so proud of myself I know that's like a little victories, but we have to celebrate the little victories the small victories too because if we don't uh, Then who knows what's this life good for? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's it's all the small victories that lead to large victories So, you know, I, I you know all these little bitty things that, that are going on in my life and the things that I'm trying to change I'm, I'll try to celebrate and I'm really proud of myself for it and I hope if you're changing things in your life, I hope you're proud of yourself for, for, the, for the changes and for the every decision you make. Because every decision you make today affects your tomorrow. And every decision and every experience you've ever had up to this point is, is, has made you exactly who you are in this very moment. So never forget that. Um, so having said that, my aunt, she worked for Jenny Craig for many years and was a big weight loss. And she also worked for Curves whenever there was Curves. It was like a gym for women, for women only. She worked for, she worked for Curves, for women only. Jenny Craig, so she was a big health nut. She did give me some tricks. I don't know if these will work for you. One of them I'm a little nervous about trying for myself because, uh, you know, different things work for different people. But I'll give it to you anyways. She was like, look, Steven, there's no bite better than the first bite. So if you see something, because, you know, it's not like that with everything, but some things like, oh, my God, a big old piece of pizza, man, come on. She's like, no bite is as good as the first bite. When you see something like that and you're like really pining for it, you're like really, really, it's on your mind or whatever, just have one bite. It can be the biggest bite you want it, the biggest bite you can fucking fit in your mouth. Just eat one bite and that will satisfy you. And then your heart will thank you because you only had one bite instead of eating the whole damn pizza. Now, my problem is, I'm going to try it, but my problem is, will, will I be able to stop? Because you know, it's like Pringles, once you pop, you just can't stop. Is that Pringles? Once you pop, you just can't stop? Or is that Corn Puffs? Or what is that? Once you pop them, you just can't stop them. Pop them, stop them. I don't know. Whatever it is. So I am going to try that out. So if you, uh, hopefully if that might help some of you guys. The other tip she gave me was uh, something that I probably wouldn't work for me. I like to just eat things. I don't like to... S I, mean, I like to, to enjoy my meal, but I don't necessarily like to s um, savor things too long, I guess. She was talking about how back in the day when she was like you know really wanted something sweet she would take a snickers bar and she would eat on that snickers bar she would take one bite of it for a week and just like you know keep it for a week which is cool and she was saying something about uh, scraping it with your two teeth and just like just really enjoying it very very slowly i might try that it didn't sound like it would be something that i would like to do but hopefully there's a couple of tips in there that you guys can use um what else i got going on um obviously i'm at the pool pool day i did work today for a few hours as i told you guys before i really 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 lightened up my schedule i'm still making the same money i was when i was working 100 hours not 100 that's probably exaggerating i was working a lot of hours i mean never ever worked less than i would say 60 to 70 hours a week and a lot of weeks i worked more than that um not not every single week but try not to exaggerate i don't know for sure but i worked a lot like Never did anything social. Never went anywhere. Never. The whole three years, I like went somewhere for one week. Then I was supposed to have two days off at one point for Memorial Day, but the first day was shot because there was some urgent issue. There was, it was just crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I don't regret it. I learned a whole lot. I had fun. But like I said, in November, I moved on. 
started my own thing. Happier than I've ever been, honestly. Uh, it's just really, really great to be in full control of your own uh, earnings and destiny and, and all that stuff. It's uh, something that I learned a long time ago when I left Dell. I said, and once I started my own business, I said I would never, ever, ever work for anybody else ever again. And, you know, I, I did that again. Uh, sort of, uh, I'm not really sure why I did it, to be honest. Um, but I did, and before I knew it, boom, three years had passed me by. And I was sort of doing the same thing every single day. I had grown to re be resentful of the situation and of people. And uh, I never want to, you know, it's burned out, basically, I think. Is probably the, the right phrase for it so anyway I'm glad that um, I've been able to sort of secure my financing and not I mean you know just get into a groove making good money again and the benefit now or the, the plus side now is that I'm some days you know some days I, I can't remember the last time I've worked eight hours in a day I mean I've worked from 10 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. is probably that's 11 12 1 2 3 it's five and a half hours uh, and most days, um, like today, I started at 10, I was done by 12.30, or even a little bit sooner than that, about 11.30, actually. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, making really good money doing that. Um, still in vacation rentals, still managing vacation rentals, and short-term rentals, and Airbnbs, and stuff like that. Uh, by the way, I have a couple of spots open. Um, I had a client who I was doing their, their triplex and they have decided, they actually decided this a few weeks ago, that they were going to start cleaning it themselves and managing themselves um, because they just wanted the extra money. So um, I don't have those any, that client anymore. I still actually do stuff for them every once in a while, but it's not like a, it's not a whole bunch like it was before. So I do have a spot open if you know of anyone who's interested in um, any sort of ground operations, managing their Airbnb listing, pricing optimization, revenue strategies, um, photography, interior design, anything that has to do with short-term rentals, including the technical side, um, you know, hit me up. I am certainly open to projects and open to discuss whatever projects they might or might not, or they might have or know somebody who has or whatever. So with that said, I'll bid you guys farewell. Until next time, enjoy yourself.